What's up YouTube, DWK videos. I make military content, put it on the internet for you. So if you want to follow my social media links down below, that would be highly suggested. But today we're going over the highly anticipated IT, Information Systems Technology, Technician? Technology. Technician. The IT job of the enlisted Navy. If you guys like these types of videos, I'm going over every single Navy job, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button, favorite this video, and let's jump into it. The information systems technician of the 21st century operates and maintains the Navy's global satellite communication systems, mainframe computers, local and wide area networks, and microcomputer systems used in the fleet. Administrative support is also provided in the operation of automated, automated Equipment that keeps records of personnel training, disbursement, health assignments, and promotions within the Navy. They ensure that all important communications link between units at sea and stations ashore. Duties. These are like your actual job responsibilities besides collaterals, but that's another story. Designing, installing, operating, and maintaining state-of-the-art information systems technology, including local and wide area networks, mainframe, mini, and micro computer systems and associated peripheral devices writing programs to handle the collection manipulation and distribution of data for a wide variety of applications and requirements performing the functions of a computer system analysis analyst analyst, analyst. thanks babe you're welcome see that's why i can't be an it Apparently I had enough to be a corpsman though. Operating and coordinating telecommunication systems including automated networks and the full spectrum of data links and circuits. Transmitting, receiving, operating, monitoring, and controlling. Processing all forms of telecommunications through various transmission media including global networks. Applying diagnostic, corrective, and recovery techniques to all facets of the integrated... Facets. facets? Thanks babe. Of the integrated information systems. Maintaining all necessary logs, files, and publications at the communication center, providing telecommunications and computer-related training and assistance to a wide variety of personnel. Working environment. Usually work in a clean, air-conditioned room, uh, working part of a team, or they might have solo projects on their own. A school. Where are you going to go after boot camp? Your boot camp is in Great Lakes, and you're not going to leave Great Lakes. You're going to go across the street to the A school side of Great Lakes, and you're going to spend 96 calendar days there. After A school, USN information systems technicians are assigned to all types of ships and shore stations and to communication stations in the United States and overseas. Full-time support information system technicians are assigned to NRF ships in CONUS. Upon completion of sea tours, FTS will be assigned to reserve centers across the country, including the Heartland. While assigned to the reserve centers, FTS, if you guys know what FTS is, it's full-time support. You're active duty, but you're a reserve. You're a reserve that works full-time. You're not active duty. <laughs> um, train and administer selected reserve personnel. ASVAP requirements. So I say this in every video. It doesn't matter what your overall ASVAP is. It matters what your line scores are. So go ahead and save this video if you're interested in IT. And once you get your line scores back from MEPS, you can actually see if you have what it takes to qualify. So AR plus 2MK plus GS equals 222 or above. Or AR plus MK plus EL or E1, whatever, plus GS equals 222. Security clearance secret with a background investigation. So don't try to hide shit from your recruiter and then get this job and then they're gonna figure it out. Other requirements, must have normal color perception, normal hearing, if you guys don't know I'm an audiologist technician, and what normal hearing means is that your hearing isn't messed up. <laughs> Thank God they spent like, like hundreds, if not a thousand sending me to that schooling. Yeah. If you guys don't know, Corman have like all these different specialties and they'll like send you to get random quals. I haven't used it once. They sent me to the schooling and I haven't used it once. <laughs> no speech impediment, that's hilarious. Michael, if you're watching this video, you would be disqualified. <laughs> He's my boy, I can make fun of him. Must be a US citizen. So if you guys know anything about hearing frequencies, no single frequency could be over 30 decibels. And actually, no. Hearing frequencies in these four frequencies must be less than 30 decibels with no greater level than 45 decibel in any one frequency. They do have these for subspecialties. So if you wanna go through sub school and get incentive pay, then that's on you. First sea tour, 48 months. First shore tour, 36. Second sea, 48. Second shore, 36. 
So on your third C tour, that's when you can go back to 36, 36, 36. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments block down below, and I'll see you guys.